I'm Bill from Iron Will, and I want to explain the difference between right and left, single bevel, and fletching. So the way to determine if a broadhead is right or left beveled, you know, hold it up and look to see which, which edge the bevel is on. If it's pointing up and you see the bevel to the left, this is a left single bevel. If you're holding it up and you see the bevel on the right side, that is a right single bevel. So a right single bevel will have a right rotation. And what that means is, as viewed from the back, it'll rotate clockwise through the animal. And if you think about what's happening there, you have pressure on the bevel on top, pushing that to the right. You have pressure on that bevel on the bottom, pushing it to the left. And it causes that clockwise rotation as viewed from the back as it's moving away from you via clockwise rotation. So it's important to, to match a right single bevel broadhead with a right fletched arrow so that the rotation of your arrow will just continue as you pass through the animal. The way to determine if you are right or left fletched is to look at your arrow from the back and have one vein straight up. And as you look at the vein from the back, if it angles to the right from front to back, that is a right fletched arrow. If you're looking at it from the back and the vein angles to the left, as viewed from the back, that is a left fletched arrow. And if you think about what's happening there, let's discuss the right first. If you think about what's happening with the right, that airflow is coming, coming from the front to the back and it's hitting the left side of the vein. So you're gonna have more pressure on the left side of the vein. That's gonna cause that top vein to rotate to the right. So that's called a right rotation, when it rotates to the right as viewed from the back of the arrow. For a left fletch arrow as viewed from the back, the vein will angle to the left. And what happens in that case is the airflow comes from the front to the back. It'll be hitting the right side of the vein and pushing that top vein to the left or counterclockwise as viewed from the back. So a left fletched arrow will rotate counterclockwise, and then you'll want to have a left single bevel broadhead so that rotation continues in that same direction through the animal. If you shoot a right fletched arrow with a left single bevel, what's gonna happen then is your arrow will be rotating clockwise until it hits the target, and then it's gonna stop and have to rotate counterclockwise. So it'll take more energy to stop and rotate it the other way, and you'll have some energy loss. Ideally, you wanna you want to use that rotational momentum that you're getting from the arrow to continue that rotation, provide some of the torque required to rotate through the animal with a single bevel broadhead. So I hope that helps you understand right versus left single bevel, right versus left fletching, and how to make sure that you're choosing the right broadhead for the fletching configuration you have on your arrow.